Hi, Matt McCormick. We've got kilometres and kilometres of fantastic wilderness tracks in Tasmania. For the last two summers, we've been working on the South Coast track. I'd like to introduce you to one of our track work contractors to let you see a little bit about how some of it's done. We've had $2 million pledged to upgrade the South Coast track and so in doing that we're upgrading existing infrastructure that's in poor repair. We basically opened up the track so people can see where they're going and also areas where there's beautiful trees and things to, but they're just covered in foliage. So we sort of opened it up so you know you can really appreciate where you are because it's a bit like a jungle before and you're constantly pushing branches out of your face and um, so now it's open, you know, it's a much nicer path to walk on. With the clearing work they can have more confidence that they're actually on the track. I've heard there's bits of the track where it's not so obvious. Well, how many panels do we need now, mate? You know, we've got this sort of material to use, and this sort of fiberglass mesh, which is really hard wearing, really grippy, blends into the environment really well. And you can see from times gone by, the way they used to do it was they'd sort of split logs and just lay them across the button grass um, connected with wire. I mean, they've you know, stood the test of time pretty well. The best part of the job, I'd say, would be being in this amazing environment. It's a beautiful place to be, working with great people. Yes, yeah, it's, it's fantastic. So we come out for either eight days or nine days. We've got to fly all our food out, all our you know, camping gear, tarps and everything. So it's really good. It's really nice just setting up your camp set up and getting into where you are and getting all your tools organised and having a walk along the track, seeing what you've got to do for the next you know, few days and working out how to you know, where you should be working first and prioritising what you're going to do first to last kind of thing. This project won't take away all the reasons that people find it special and challenging. It'll still be the wild and remote walk that it is. We're targeting our works to improving existing infrastructure that's in poor repair or looking after special values where the track's impacting on those. Exactly what we needed with the height out of this mud. Uh, stairs are great at the right levels there. Um, no, thanks guys, thanks for coming down. So as you can see, the South Coast track is still a challenging trek. You've still got the iron bounds, we haven't shrunk those for you. You've got the river crossings, you've got the dinghy crossing, uh, you've got to put up with the wild weather. Um, but as you can see, some of the amenities and some of the walking surfaces have been improved to, for your comfort and your safety, as well as for this beautiful environment that we're in.